Welcome back to another stream and or video, depending on which one you guys are tuning in for. So if you tuned in last time, you will know that we just died as King Varan the Guest. He was our longest played king so far. I think we played him as one, two, three, four, five different streams, which is by far the most we have played as a character. So we take over his his son, the young King Mantaris. He's also an intrigue, but he's an elusive shadow. He's got quite the uh good education for it, which is great. He's married to a Royce right here. That's the only reason we haven't conquered Runestone. The Castamirs, the kings of Castamir, which are under the Empire status, are our friends. Same with that very empire. We got the Supreme... this one. King Derek the Greedy. 73,000 mints. We want to stay on the good side, and it looked like they were actually about to conquer the Arbor. Which, we're not sh mm, yeah. Looks like they'll be fighting that interesting. We also have Tarth, Castamere, and a couple others. But let's go ahead and check out our council. And as we always do, we're going to start off with a couple wars here in a sec. We don't have any claims quite yet, but that'll soon change with Longbar. And I thought I had developed some last night. Maybe it was uh, with Varon and not Montaris. That's all right. We have been doing some feast and hunts to get our vassals to like us more. Uh, Lord Carl has been uh, quite the thorn in our side. So we're not too liked by a lot of our vassals, but that's alright, we can change that. We can change that pretty soon. We are raiding, or some of our vassals are off raiding. Assist ruler, how's your stewardship? Manage domain, we'll take that. Might little, lose a bit of piety, but that's alright, we're not too concerned about that. We will proceed. Mm -mm. Go into our decisions, just make sure we're all good here. Manage royal affairs, I think we're good. Are we dripped out the way we want? Who's our son? Prince T-Rex. He is married to that rain. Or he's betrothed to the rain. He's only a boy. He's not married quite yet. What about you? Can you get some something going? There you go. Get some good traded kids over here in the house. We'd appreciate that. Okay, so let's come in here. Disable building a drift mark. Explaining Janus dies. Okay, I'm not sure. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. Negotiating alliance? No. Pardon some criminals? Now, we'll pardon her. But Thong, on the other hand, is not getting a pardon. I could. I have a 50-50 chance of imprisoning him. Let's see how I can declare those wars on. Lord Joffrey of the Giant Slants, of course. <laughs> We love beating up on Lord Joffrey, he's terrible. And Nestridge. That's going to be the old Connington land. Down here. I think it's like the Rain Shore. It's like something right there. Not one that we're particularly concerned with. It's not going to be anything too important for us. So we're just going to continue as is. We have 14 months until that develops. Let's see if there's any activities we can go on. I think we just did a hunt. We just did a feast. We, cannot, we can do a pilgrimage. Hmm... We don't have enough gold for it quite yet. So it looks like we're kind of just waiting. And with YouTube, I will be back when we have uh, something a little more noteworthy than just waiting. We are back, and we are going to plan us out a pilgrim. We're going to do a pious pilgrim. And I am just, as always, the starry set. And so I will be back when I'm done planning out this massive route. Okay, let's check it out. <laughs> Look at this. I think that's good. Alright, YouTube, so this is going to be the route we go on. We're going to start at Dragonstone. We're going to go all the way up to the Sister Tins, and then after that, we're just going to make our way through the north to the Dread Fort. We're going to hit uh, Castle Black, Winterfell, make our way to Grey, uh, Greywater Watch, down into the Riverlands. We're going to hit Seaguard, the Twins. Uh, what else was there? Raven Tree Hall, River Run, come down to Bitter Bridge, High Garden, Old Town, mess around in there. We're going to go out to Griffin's Roost, Storm's End, Tarth, and then back up to Dragonstone. So let's get on Eat to Eat. And do we want to hire someone to protect us a little bit? Some experienced captains, sea danger minus 45, travel speed. Hmm, I've never really hired someone. We could train knights, it takes no cost. Why not? Minus 10, enemy hostile. Okay. Hmm, I don't really care about the speed set. And we'll do this one. I don't want to die in a boat. That's more depressing than. <laughs> dying on land. So we'll hire a uh, hire them, just because, uh, why not? 
I've never done that before. So as we do this, that'll be one of every activity we have already done with Montaris. We've done a feast, a pilgrimage, and a hunt. Hopefully we live this. <laughs> I suppose we must go into a regency. So let's get on into it. Olam is going to come to acting lord. We just make our way. Lord Carl is swayed. That's good. Someone lost a war nearby. One of my neighbors. And we will continue. We will eat tonight. You fish for your life. And the finest catch of the day? Not today. Not today. Get on out of here. I don't want to spend spend any money. Hmm. Along the path to the holy land, of, holy land, I've met with all kinds of pilgrims, both young and old, as if I'm witnessing a tapestry of my own life play out before me. Perhaps I ought to stop while and contemplate life's... Hmm. I'll make the most of my time. Oop, and I get existential dread, of course I do. Gip Gab can become his knight, of course. I think that's alright. Or his squire, not his knight. So we're in White Harbor. Get some more lifestyle experience, primarily to Marshall. Bah, get a real job, earn your keep. Get out of here. I said scram. We're gonna come up to the dread fort where we will get a delicious a hundred more uh good thing we have nudity off, because he would be naked. <laughs> what is this? Can we be the mediator? We sure can. We'll get a hundred diplomacy lifestyle experience. Excellent. Hmm. What are you doing? Is that... <laughs> to welcome both of you. There we go. We'll do that. Who's this guy? That is the captain I hired. This guy is <laughs> a pain in my ass. He gets pneumonia. Good. Who is this? Sansa. Ooh. Hello. We'll do this. Just one night of comfort. Okay, great. 100 intrigue lifestyle. We'll do this one. The wolf is a messenger. Animal lost. We lost the wolf. Of course we did. We always lose the animals. We can never find them. We'll go around the long wood lake, up to the wall. Mm, have the witches burned. <laughs> Nature will provide. I will contemplate old empires. In imperial contemplation, okay. So title cost is minus 20%, that's great. We do not mind that. Visited the capital of the wall. Get 100 diplomacy lifestyle. Excellent. Okay, my cousin in law has given birth to a daughter. This is Galfred's daughter. Great, she's got some double treats. Let's go. We will name her. Doubly. <laughs> she's a thinker. Great, great, great. I think that's Milo's granddaughter. <laughs> she can be a learner. Because she's smart. Hanlon could be your ward. Come here, please. Excellent. And we continue. So we gain 200 diplomacy lifestyle for getting to the... Uh, I can't speak. Going to the Kingdom of the North's capital. Hmm. I'm not going to go to the famed Godswood because I accidentally converted to the old gods one time. The Glass Gardens, the beating heart of the castle. Ooh, I could go and get uh, some booty in Wintertown. I could explore the Godswoods. Crypts where history stands guard forevermore. Hmm, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? I'm not doing this one because that will convert me to the old gods. Hmm, let's do this one. Leaving the ancient castle, I head into Wintertown. Even though it is far from full, there are still many people milling about, farmers displaying their crops, blah, 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 blah. Making discreet, discreet inquiries, I soon find the place I was looking for. Roses. Time to spend some coin. Hmm. Rosalie. Fornicator. I don't know if I want to spend <laughs> that much. Yeah, let me just a drink. Oh, I get the drunkard. Oh, what? <laughs> minus two, minus two. Tiny health loss. 
little dang. That's not the best trait, but it's not the end of the world. I should have spent the coin. And we will see it done. That's fantastic. So that means we have a claim on Longbar. What we've been waiting for. It's taken a long time. We will fabricate a claim on Sunglass. Now, the sweet port sound. Mm -mm -mm. I have faith in the seven. Okay, so I think that's a martial perk. Excellent. So we are going to do this one. Yeah, we're going to do Serve the Crown. Because that will give us that extra control growth. Having this big, not big kingdom, but it, kind of an expansive one. It leads to uh, the control getting out of hand sometimes. Dangerous interest. Every morning since we reach uh, Mench Course, my Septon Ector leaves his litter and silently glides away from my sights. Maybe more than one truth. Hmm... Whatever. Curses, we're going to be late. My wagon breaks, that's alright. We're in no rush. Get those notifications out of here, we get the moving castle. A hundred more lifestyle, martial lifestyle experience. Great, great, great. How dare you? You should pay me the prestige I brought to your farm. Absolutely, you're darn right. Give me that money. We are just about to break camp for the morning on our way to Star Set and I find Sansa breathing heavily and pale. Is this a plague? Uh, we should let her rest and fully recover. She has good traits. And I am not really worried about that. Do not care. She's a deviant. Bam, bam, bam. Visiting the booming tower. That's fantastic. Another hundred martial lifestyle experience. Good thing I had the nudity off. <laughs> Curses. We're going to be late. That's fine. That's fine. It's not the end of the world. We don't have anywhere in particular we need to be at a certain time. Can't believe I almost ate this garbage. Thank you, Sansa. This is the location of the end of the muds. One of the first great handle kings. This is a werewood. Ooh, there we go. Diplomacy perk. Let's get in there. Thoughtful. Opinion game from Singif. Probably not going to do that one. That one is good. Having that is a great one that lets us conquer a lot. Sway scheme, power plus 30. Or I think I... Nope, gotta do Grim's rule. Get my kids. More perks. Trex gains 2 plus diplomacy. Good for him. Mm. Cast down the heterodoxy. As we trek through the buried light, our caravan has stopped. Well, none of you... Surely you two can make amends. Do I pull? Our wife is pregnant. Fantastic. Let's go. Another 100 lifestyle diplomacy experience, which is perfect. We're going to be late. That is fine. We have nowhere in particular to be. We are down here in the reach, making our way. So we visit Stonebridge. Cool, cool, cool. And we're still just making our way on down. To the snag of Rowan. And we ain't doing a fair fight. Nope. Trampled. Screw her, pal. Guy. Good thing that wasn't Guy Sensei. Nature will provide for us. 1% chance of dying. <laughs> that would have been pretty funny. Okay, Hemtooth gains the trade Aspiring Blade Master. Hemtooth the Black Crab, one of our knights. We're going to be late. That's alright. That's fine. We don't worry about that. Another 100 life silex diplo for diplomacy. Diplomacy is a great one to level up and get some of those side perks. I have walked the holy path. Let's get the pilgrim traits. Excellent. Excellent. Maybe I should hire him. No, I don't think so. We'll do that. Getting the trait Pilgrim. So let's go in here and see what the Pilgrim trait does. So, monthly piety plus 5%. A little bit more travel speed. A little bit more travel safety. And we get some Zealot Vassal Opinion gain. Which is great. I gained some more of this stuff. Lose some stress. We're just making our way. So, we'll make our way back to Dragonstone soon. So we can... Upgrade something in Castle Driftmark. Let's check that out. Just the wall towers. What about Grafton's Holdfast? Just the cavalry. The horse pins. Lord Carl was swayed, which is good. 84% success chance on the next one, which is also good. Excellent, excellent. Now we're just making our way back. We've pretty much finished our pilgrimage. And when we come back, we will be declaring war on Longbar finally. And like I said, guys, as soon as we got home, we were going to declare war on Longbar. It is just this tiny little guy. <laughs> He's only got 771 uh, troops. It should not take long at all. We're not even going to call our whole army up. 
we're just going to raise the local army there. And then we're going to also come here and raise all our men at arms. So, this army right here should be more than plenty to take care of uh, what we're going for. What we're actually going to do is construct a new holding in Driftmark. It'll cost 400 gold. We get a new Intrigued Lifestyle. Let's activate that. We will do... Like weeds in a garden. We'll do that one real quick. Get our fertility boost going. And here we go. We're about to smash Longbar. This should not take long at all. Yep. And do we even want to... It'll take 54 days to siege. Let's see if it's going to be worth... To uh, ransom these guys. We could get 50. I think it will be worth. So we'll do that. We'll ransom him. Either of these guys. Sorry, fellas, but you are getting tortured. And so are you. Everybody's getting tortured. Let's continue. It has to be done. It has to be done. Dun dun dun. Did we gain any dark insight gain? So, the Zygar and Toad Sultigar are now married. Very good, very good. My alliance has expired with the Royce Man. Why has that happened? Let's see. My Leper, Forder. Okay, yeah. She's about to go, it looks like. And so when that happens, I think it will be time to, uh, Go ahead and try and take Runestone. We will be fabricating our claim shortly. Who's our best marshal? You, I guess. Not very good. Not good at all. Kind of terrible, actually. <laughs> kind of terrible. But that's fine. We got Longbar. So what we're doing right now, we're preparing to take Longbar. Next will be this little one. And then we're taking Runestone. It's about to pass out of the hands of the Royce. Um, what is this? Yes, it's fine. We're just giving one of our vassals over to the High Lord of the area. Mm -mm -mm. There you go, that's fine. And we'll hit play. Oh, gotta crack my back. So we're taking Longbar. Should not take long at all, it's just a pretty dinky little island. We'll take it here in a second. There it is. Can we ransom you? Will not accept. That's unfortunate. And we'll just go ahead and end the war. Force those demands. So be it. Disband all. Do I still have some prisoners? Looks like it. Hello, fellas. Ransom for a hundred. Absolutely. Can you be ransomed? Nope. So you will be tortured. You gained an intrigue perk for dark insights. Perfect. That's exactly why we wanted to torture them. Then we'll also come in here. What's this? Mm. Intriguing. Take him back to the cell. Some stag antlers. I got two different stag antlers, so we're going to destroy both of them. 80. And 80. Thank you very much. 392. That is great. And here in a second, we should... Let's check out our claims. So that's going to take a few months. So we hit 412 again. And if you come in here, you'll see we have another empty holding on Yellow Rock. We're going to build a castle there. Same as before. So we'll construct a castle. That'll just help us get another spot. We might uh, throw a Celtigard down in one of those. And we do have the province of Sweetport Sound. Or no, 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 no. We have the, this one now, which is just a smelly little island, but we'll hold on to it for now. There's nothing too special about it. And do we have anyone yet that can be a competent harbor master? Yes, we do. Finally. There we go. That'll help us greatly. Increase our domain taxes by 25%. Very good, thank you. We've been waiting a long time to get that. <laughs> For absolutely no reason. Ooh, looks like some of our raiders might be coming back. They sure are. Can we see how much loot they have? 27, nice. Can we see where they went? No. Doesn't look like it. So, YouTube, we will be back when we have another claim 
on Sweetport Sound. But as I said, let's get right on into it. Let's declare war on them. I think we're full. Actually, we are going to let our gold boost back up a little bit. We'll probably wait like three months. I'll put it on turbo speed. So you two, we will be back when we are declaring war on Sweetport Sound. What we also want to do is come up here to fabricate a claim on Runestone. It's only going to take 11 months. So we got one month down. Probably do one more month or so. Silver Horse is one of my vassals, so we're fine with them just doing them. They're just doing their little thing. Doing their little dance. We'll come. I think it's about time. Oh, it's Sweetport Sound. Clear War. Bum, 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 bum. I'm going to raise them all. Raise all their Dragonstone. Then I'm just going to also call the Tarthmen. They've got 11,000. Are they actually at war? So they're actually at war with someone. So let's call the Reigns. We're going to call them over. Just to help speed things up. We'll get them to come and join us here in a second. Lord Carl is not swayed. That's fine. And here in a second, we're just going to have these two armies join up. Merge these two. And bring them on over. Let's see what's happening. Let's see the status. 92 to embark is crazy. Hmm. That's going to put us in debt. That's definitely going to put us in debt. With no clear way out. So they got 16,000 men over here. I think if we attack them right now, we'd lose. I'm pretty sure we'd lose. Yeah. So we're not going to do that quite yet. What we're going to do is wait for the Castamir and the Rain Men to come. And we'll even just call him to see if he'll come by a bit sooner. Call to war. Thank you very much. Because we are in debt. Yes, I see that. Mm -mm -mm. I don't want to repair it. Do, definitely do not have the gold for that right now. Let's see, let's see. We'll go into my inventory. I don't think I can actually... I don't want to destroy that. Definitely not. Council. I've got some prisoners in here. Can I ransom you? Not for anything worth. Any of you guys? Gold on ya? Nope. So, we're just going to be in debt for now. Which isn't going to be great at all. Lord Wallace joins our war. <laughs> so one thing we can do is actually come in here and we will... Sorry, Hamtooth. Actually, it's no cost. No cost for the Seneschal. What? <laughs> Since when? Okay, that's fine, I guess. <laughs> We're going to get a manage domain on you for sure. Should we get a different steward in here? Like a steward, uh, Castilian? Not sure. We will put you though. Just because you're a bit better. That doesn't really save us much, just point one. But it's better than nothing. Now we really need some of our uh, soldiers or our allies to get here quick. Get here really quick would be nice. And yep, we'll do that one. Definitely gonna do that one. Indulge in drink, let lose some get rid of some stress. Our betrothed can marry. Not a three, and Robert... Yes, because eventually he will be Lord of Casterly Rock. We could call some allies to the war. Should we just call King Derek in this real quick? I mean, I have close to 30,000. Closer to 40,000, I think, involved in this. That should be closer to, like, 52. Let's see, actually. Okay, things are running kind of slow. Come on. 47,000. Okay. We're getting 16, which are all pretty much right here. Now, should we just come in here and start sieging, like, Sharp Point? I think we probably should do something. We'll try it. Gullet Tower. Are you the one with Swordfish? You are. So that's why we're going to get a Sharp Point, because they have a Valyrian Steel Sword that would be real nice to get our hands on. Six months, that'll help get us some gold to help reduce our debts. So we'll just stay here, and that'll actually give us something to do before our uh, our allies get here. What is this? Some gift. Pays 150 to you. You are the motherfucking goat. Who is this? My dear boy. You are... <laughs> you are the best. Oh my god. Who are you? I'm not sure, but I love you. Oh my god. Master Terrence. You 
absolute legend of the game. Oh, no, 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 no. We're gonna stay on short point. We're gonna stay on short point. Because at this point, I want that Valyrian Steel Sword. Hmm, why not? We'll, t we'll try it, we'll try it. Do we... Oh, let's go. It successfully worked. We take out Lady Jane. And so that means... Actually, I wonder if we could just push our wife's claim. Does our son have one on Runestone? No, it doesn't look like it. But our wife has a claim. And if we didn't want to spend the... I mean, it's already almost there. But we could just push our wife's claim. But I don't... I think that would make her an independent ruler. My cousin-in-law, please smile, lead the way. She becomes my mentor. Teaching me how to intrigue better, which we love. And the reason we're sieging this little province... Lost a trade ill, thank goodness. Maester doing some great work to help us is because we want the Valyrian Steel Sword Swordfish. It can be found here in uh, this little one. And we got some more rain men coming to help, which should probably speed that up, I'm guessing. Right, some considerably three months. And after this, we're probably just going to go down there and try and siege Sweetport Sound. Let's look at. Do you have anything worth coming to get? No. No, you do not. Can we pardon criminals? Aunt Law and Sansa. Grant her a pardon. Bones Creek, who the hell are you? That's a cool name. We're definitely granting you a pardon. <laughs> Alright, come on, get the steel sword. Come on. Oh, doesn't look like we got it. We do get some uh some prisoners. Is that Fargo Hoot? These are the Hoots. Is there? Interesting. He's got a hundred gold. See ya, buddy. You're joining the Night's Watch, and we will take that hundred gold. Now these guys are my torture buddies. Can't do it quite yet again. Oh, can on you. Thank you. And get a bit more prowess. Excellent. That is exactly what we want to see. <laughs> now let's move. We're going out to the sea. We can afford it without putting us in debt, which is very nice going to intrigue thriving in chaos so that will increase our um that'll increase our different stats when for each level of stress we're under who's this they're causing ruckus in a little tavern eh hmm balon who's is balon the local hunter sorry my friend <laughs> See, it's on. We want runestone. So, we'll torture him. That'd be nice if some of these rain guys would come and help. Would come over here. You know. Military. Unraised. We have one unraised soldier. A single knight. So we'll see what happens after they take that. Come on. <laughs> Here we go. They're joining me, it looks like. So I want them to go ahead and get on their boats. And just sometimes the AI can be so tricky. <laughs> like, sometimes it just won't. Okay, so that's good. Get some more minute arm toughness. Let's try. Let's try. Are they coming? It looks like it. I think they're coming with us. Okay, what is this? Dude, my sister Beyonce is longing for romance, is she? Hmm... I might get an intrigue lifestyle. Okay. Mm. Power and influence. I think that's what Beyonce needs. That sounds like her. If I know Beyonce. <laughs> so I don't know if the Rain Men are going to follow me if I do that. You know? We'll see. We'll see. I'm really hoping they do. And if So if they don't follow me, I'm just going to call in King the Gardener King to come in and obliterate him. Because this is a nice little, nice little stack that's hard to remove. So let's try it. Let's try it. Okay, yeah. They are coming. There we go. Let's check this fight out. Mm. Mas Master Montares, I'm pretty sure, did pretty good in that tournament recently. Captain Arthur, how old is he? The Silver Crab. What? <laughs> is this a family member of ours? That is... Okay, so it's Reneric's son. I remember her. Captain Arthur. He's a mercenary captain. Haven't seen that. 
Can use a random Celticar out there. Okay, yeah. A thrilling hunt. Except that. Looks like I get some blackmail scheme on us. We're destroying the army of Sweetport Sound. Certainly a good choice of character. Bang! Look at that. Immediately unlock the next perk. And it looks like they're gonna come immediately back and try and fight the miserable fiend. 32,000 against 10. Ooh, Hamfoot putting in some work. He wounded Lord Loros. Ooh, Lord Banfrey was wounded. Ooh, Rupert killed somebody. Don't know who that is. <laughs> what is this? What does he want? You ain't getting that, my friend. Prince Garchomp. Whatever. Excellent. And we will ransom Joy Sunglass for 10. Sure will. And they're just going to keep bouncing back and forth, hitting us, because they don't really have anywhere else they can go. Or really, anything they can do. So Sunglass will be ours here before too long. And look, here he goes. They just keep bouncing back and forth. Trying to take us on, but they're just going to keep on struggling. It's around 12.30 here. What is this? Yep, moving on is often, often the best approach. It's fickle. Good for a little intrigue build like him. This is excellent. Patrothe Hey Mary. Perk Celtigar. That'll do a guaranteed increased on a robust. Er, what? Guaranteed passed on robust trait. Or the hail. I think it was the lowest level. Continuing, continuing. Excellent, excellent. Love to see it. We're absolutely destroying them. And I think that was all of them. Yep, so we'll just go until this is done. Shouldn't be much longer, 36 days. And that should wrap up the war, I'm thinking. They can't spawn in anywhere. And we'll just assault the fort. 3, 2, 1. Excellent. And we'll go and deal with these prisoners first. Because I don't think it'll change our war score if we ransom them. We have quite a few sunglasses here. So we'll ransom that one. Ransom this one. And we're gonna ransom this one when we get a sec. Ransom all three. Does that change the war score? No, it does not. We are in the middle of a war. They've just kind of thrown some men at us foolishly. Okay. Here we go. Let's end this. Enforce demands. Soviets. Disband all. So that ends that war. We now gain Sweet Port Sound, a dinky little island in the Blackwater Bay. That will treat us nice, I think. The claw, geographical claw I've been trying to make. Here we go. Shouldn't be too hard. Your claims. Declare war. What is happening? <laughs> it is lagging. Kill my cousin Galfred. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Pause, 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 pause. Rally them all here. Raise all troops in Gold Town. What is this? We sure are going on the hunt. Celebrating the war with the hunt. You're darn tootin'. It'll cost us 50. Oh, I didn't mean to. That was probably left over from my pilgrimage. Didn't mean to do that. But what we'll do here... <clears throat> are you still at war, Mr. Tarf? No. So we'll go ahead and just call you. Call to war. Thank you. Should bring them up here. And that'll just help us smash through the bronze men. Mm -mm, we're about halfway there to building our troops up. 19,000. 19,000. Should be the, any second now. Then we'll just come up here and have them hit runestone immediately. Mm, what is this? A dragon? I saw a dragon. Does that make my way through Candletown? Pray, oh, no, no, no. What a strange conversation. There ain't no dragons. Mitchell will provide for us. Alright, 3%. 3%. I think we're good. <laughs> I think we're good. I don't think we died. What are we doing here? We're on a hunt while we have some troops going to attack uh, Runestone. Are you practicing witchcraft? What's that flower? Give me that learning lifestyle experience. Thank you. 300 is great. And our Tarth boys are coming up this coast. We're going to sandwich these guys. It shouldn't be much longer now. Here we go. Absolutely demolishing them. 
Okay, so we gotta hit this. <laughs> There's a lot going on right now. There's a lot going on. We're trying not to get uh, stimulated. Here we go. Watching this appear. The Battle of Runestone. <laughs> Lord Joseph was swayed. Excellent. Excellent. So we're absolutely crushing them. The clever thing got away. Good. That hunt should be over soon. That'll be a little less distracting having that going on, too. Here, let's leave that adventure behind for now. Finish up. Inside. Sit. It's not in. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> That's gonna take a little while. Um. I don't think we need to call anyone else in, but I'm kind of thinking about it just so. Like calling in some of these guys. I think they're at the river run. Mm, I mean, it's moving pretty quick. I think it's all right. We'll just do that one. Our ship sail once again. Perfect. We're not stressed out. That's whatever. See it done. Absolutely. And we will see that task done, and we will immediately start claim against the veil. So we did Ryfield, we'll do 9 stars now, and we're just going to keep going, increasing our borders. It's the Veil, they have just declared- uh, they look like an empire now. Kingdom, yeah, so they're going to be an empire status. Kingdom, yeah. They're at 23,000, so they are a little stronger than us now, but after we take Runestone, I think we should probably be, uh, some big boys. But we'll see, we'll see, we never know what's going to happen. We're going to keep forging out and just carving this part of the Veil, might go all the way. Just keep stripping them. They're kind of caught. They're in a bad spot, caught in between us and the Riverlands Kingdom up here. And we do have our outpost and the sisters. I even thought about doing something like uh, conquering Skagos. Conquering and just sending all of my shitty family members up there. <laughs> just building all the holdings up there. And just anytime there's some shithead Celticars, just give them a province. Just go away. Get away from me. That might be nice. Um... Since nothing too much is really happening, Mr. YouTube people, we will be back when we have some progress in the war. So we hold, we personally hold Grafton's Holdfast, Runestone, Dragonstone, and Driftmark. Some good castles, some great castles. We've completed our Claw. We have our Northern Outpost and the Sisters. The High Lordship of the Sisters has been created. Let's come over here and create uh, Runestone's High Lordship. We'll create that. We'll keep that ourselves for now. Sure, somebody's gonna want it. I actually. What about who are you? Is your house safe? House Siger. What is your? You're married to. Very good. You can get the High Lordship then, because your house looks pretty safe. I don't like giving it to people that house looks houses look like they're just gonna disappear in a few years. He's already got four titles. Um. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, we'll give him that. There you are, my friend. So that made it kind of kind of wacky. It's not quite how it should be, but it'll be alright. We're not too worried. So after that, let's go into, do we have any claims? Ryefield, which there's, <laughs> I guess that there's a Manderly branch that's in control of that. And we're just going to keep on developing some claims along the Vale, along our neighbors. We've, ooh, we love seeing this. Oh, as for gold, yes sir, we'll take that. Absolutely, we sure will. Once we get that gold in. There we go. 846. So we're going to come into our realm, and we're upgrading something for sure on Dragonstone. We're going to upgrade our... This one, I think. So it's quite expensive. 637. That's great. And we will have a province done and shroud in three months, and then Yellow Rock and a few more. Mm -mm -mm. We love to see it. We're doing good right now. We're making some great progress. Making fantastic progress. Do we still hold... No, we gave Sweetport Sound away. Is this one of our direct vassals? No. <laughs> I wonder if that got conquered. That might have. Looks like it. Whatever. So, we've got... These are the different High Lords. He looks like he might be in danger. The Lordship of Kier. That's alright. Because they're not true clawmen. So, on my community page, on uh, my YouTube channel, I've posted a couple polls, uh, a couple updates... If you guys want to help decide what the next series should be, head on over there and decide. There's a post about a couple different uh, rulers, including the Boltons, the Ironwoods, the Connington's, the Greyjoys on that one. And then there's one about Stormlander houses. Because I'm still unsure on what the next series should be, so I'd appreciate a little bit of input. See what some people would like. 
my acquaintance Albert has died in the dungeons. We don't really care about that. So I think what we're going to do is probably just go on an activity. It's been a little while. We should definitely be able to go on a hunt. Or we'll just do a feast. I think a feast would be better. Here we go. We're going to do it up here because they have manor house, farm, and fields. We can plant it for 92. That's not bad at all. Some knights join the entourage. That's good. Just a little more protection. Keeping us safe on the dangerous road ahead. And we are continuing. My knight is significantly improved. And this is not... <laughs> this is not going to be one of the murder feasts. This is just going to be a normal recreational feast. With all my guests. The goal is to get some opinion gain. Get some more prestige. Just the usual. Honestly, just kill some time. Just kill some time. We got 30... 30 days before it begins, an entire month. Mm -mm -mm. We are known as the Flare. I'm surprised so many people want to come to a feast hosted by someone called the Flare. Just making our way. Doing good, doing good. Welcome, friends. Welcome, welcome. The feast begins. And we are always going to pick this one. I have prestige to spare, and we don't mind a little gold. That'll help us pay for the feast. Mm -mm, good folks to mingle with. That's the one I always pick because we get 20 opinion boost of anyone we share a trait with. Why don't we talk more about you instead? That's fine. I don't even know who that is. Okay, a bar of imminence come. That's not the worst. A claim on Gullet Isle. So that's going to be that little one. Ah, uh, no feast is complete without a prank. You are absolutely right. Hmm, that bar of imminence is kind of interesting. Maybe we'll uh, do something with him. Closer forming a friendship with Lord Crispian, which is great. We should do this more often. Losing a little bit of stress. Here we go, here we go. And with that, it is all done. Finish, finish, finish. Get some good opinion boost gains and the like. Should be going back to a Claw Isle here before too long. Making our way. Hmm, we'll do this one. Just making our way south. Back on home, as we do. And as of right now, there's not too many different activities to do. Too many different options. Um, I'm thinking about... So for the YouTube video, the YouTube video is going to be, as I normally do, it's going to be try and be under an hour. Um, try and have it under an hour. I'm not really sure what it'll be composed of. But we'll, we'll get the job done. We'll figure it out. It'll probably just hop around to some important things, to the different activities, to the wars. Any good decisions we can do. Indulge in a drink. Let's go to realm. Let's go to realm. Anything here. Castle Driftmark. The walls and towers. Grafton's hold fast. Nothing for now. Which ones do we have here? <laughs> it's time for a breath of fresh air. Cost you what? Oh no. Stick to your own duties. Stick to them, buddy. I don't need that nonsense. Four months left on that. Perfect. 20 months left on Mulberry. That has taken a very, very long time. Save it for your grown-up treks. That is good. That'll keep the lustful trait. All right, YouTube. So that is going to be it for today's video. We've been very successful in expanding into the Vale. We conquered Runestone. I think King Montaris is going to be pretty good. If y'all enjoyed, check us out next time. Or stick around, check us out next time, whatever you want to do. Subscribe, leave a like, it's all free. And thank you very much for watching. I will see you guys next time.